Hello everyone, welcome or welcome to third video in graph series. So in this video, we'll be discussing how we can represent uh, adjacency list in code. So for theory, uh, if you haven't, haven't watched the previous videos, I will highly recommend just watch the previous videos first. In that, we discussed how uh, theory about like adjacency list, how we can represent graph. So in this video, we'll be discussing code. So see. Uh, in the previous videos, we have taken this graph as an example and this is the adjacency list for this graph. Basically, we will have this vector, uh, this will be a vector and to, at each index, this will be representing the vertex. So, this index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, these basically will be representing the vertices, the indexes and here at each, we will have a list. So, this list will be containing all this like 0 is connected to which all vertices 0 is connected to 1 and 4 so here 1 and 4 are there for for 1 1 is connected to 0 4 3 and 2 so those are there so this was adjacency list now let's see how we can represent this adjacency list in code uh, so see what i am doing is i have taken this vector uh, sorry this vertices variable and there are five vertices so see here there are how many vertices 5 0 1 2 3 and 4 5 vertices and uh, this vector i am taking this is your adjacency list right this is adjacency list and add function add edge is there for adding edge between 0 and 1 so for example see guys um, let us take like if i have to add an edge between 0 and 2 for example if I have to add an edge between 0 and 2, so there will be edge between 0 and 2 and from 2 also there will, will be edge from 2, 0, right? So what I will do, from add this 0 index, this 0 index, I have to add 2 and add 2 index. For this one, at 2 index, I have to add 0, right? So for both, I have to add. So let's see what is happening in this add edge function. In add edge, I have taken u and v starting and ending vertex and for u, I am pushing back in that verte uh, vector v. Basically, I am for like for this, this 0, this is u and this is v right now. So for this 0, I am pushing back 2 in the vector, this one. And then when there is u and v, this one, so when then 2 is 0, uh, u. So then I am pushing 0 here for this 2. So this like this. So since guys this was an undirected graph. So there were like both uh, it was like bi-directional. If it is like let's say if like it was directed graph. Then only we will be doing once. Then this will not be there. Okay. So I hope you understood that thing. So this is right now undirected. Uh, this was add edge. Now simply uh, if you have to print the graph, so what we are doing is we are going to each vertex and for that we are printing whatever uh, nodes it is connected to. For example, we go to 0. So we check 0 is connected to 1, 4, uh, right now it's not connected to 2, so I am just removing that. Okay, so this thing I am removing. So 0 is connected to 1 and 4, right? So this we are going to that adjacency u basically this will be the vector right this will be that ve this vector so we are going to each element in the vector here in this for loop and we are printing that so i hope you understood this also let's dry run uh, let's run this once so this is your edges, uh, this is your graph represented using adjacency list so 0 is connected with 1 0 is connected with 4 1 is connected with 0 2 3 and 4 2 is connected with 1 and 3 and 3 is similarly 1 2 and 4 and 4 is 0 1 and 3 so i hope you understood this also uh, if you want to see how graph can be represented using adjacency matrix you can refer the previous video uh, in that we discussed code and if you found this video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and uh, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.